Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, what I carry around with me all the time. Um, this is my diabetic bag. I keep everything in here pretty much. Almost everything. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to be talking about my log. Um, this is what I use. It's just a simple notebook. I used to use the diabetic logs, but to me this is easier and it'll last way longer. I use, at first I used to use a pencil, but as you can see it kind of got all smudgy. So I now use pens, which is way smarter. Uh, so what I keep in here is what I eat, how much insulin I gave myself, what I ate, how many carbs I ate, uh, how long I've exercised for, where I've been, and other activities and stuff like that. Um, so, so right here, like this is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. L, I mean, sorry, B L D, and in between are the snacks. Right here is where I write down where I've worked out or where I've been. Like right here, I was fasting that day. Right here, I worked out for 45 minutes. And right here, I wrote I'm back in Utah because I was in Arizona. And the reason why I write down um, where I've been because Arizona is different from Utah. It's much warmer in Arizona. And when I'm in Arizona, my basal rate is lower. And when I'm in Utah, which is colder, it's higher because my blood sugar just works differently when it's when the weather's different. Um, so, and also just to keep things simple, like writing things down because it's kind of small, I kind of shorten or abbreviate words like for breakfast. Sometimes I'll have a slim fast, and I'll write S F for slim fast. Or I'll have meat and vegetables, I write meat and I write veg, like V-E-G for vegetables, just to kind of shorten it and make it, uh, make it easier because you won't be able to read it if it's so small. Um, so yeah, this is my log. And that, I think that's about it. So um, what other things I keep in my, uh, my diabetic bag? I keep... Insulin. This is my Novolog, my fast-acting insulin, just in case if something happened to my pump, um, if it broke or whatever, it stopped working. Never has happened before. I'm not worried about it, but I like to keep it with me anyway. And also, just in case if I need to fill up my reservoir. Um, so I keep this, and I also keep syringes <clears throat> right here. Um, I also keep my AccuCheck to check my blood sugar, um, the little um, things, the test strips <laughs> to check my blood sugar, the pokey thingy to poke my finger. I also keep batteries for my AccuCheck just in case if it dies on me. Um, I also keep a pen to write down, a napkin to wipe my fingers off because um, I am not a licker. I don't like to lick it. I like to wipe. So I, that's just a lot of blood over a long period of time. It's just kind of just, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of gross. Anyway, um, this is these are my glucose tablets just in case my blood sugar goes low. I can pop these in and um, get to a normal blood sugar. Um, I also keep, let's see if I can get it out. I also keep my glucagon, just in case if I pass out, and someone can give me a shot. And this is it right here. So, yep. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and I also keep batteries for my pump, AAA batteries, right here. And so, I think that's about it. So, yeah.